Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. To my subscribers, yay! We've made 101 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the love and support in just the two weeks that I've been doing these videos online. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I adore you guys and I really appreciate you subscribing. Please continue to share and watch. And like I said in my description, if you have any questions, like basic questions that I could do a general reading for, please put it in the comments below and I would be more than happy to add it to my repertoire of readings. Okay, and for my new viewers, hi, welcome. Please subscribe, like, and share. Okay, so this video is going to be for Pisces, June 17th to the 23rd, 2019. Let's get into it. What's going on with Pisces this week, June 17th to the 23rd, 2019? Please, universe, give clear and concise messages for Pisces. What is going on? What do they need to know? What's up? off with the sun crossed by the king of cups okay that's nice six of swords two of cups ace of wands queen of cups eight of cups seven of wands Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands in the outcome. Okay. Passies. What's going on? Okay, let's see. We're starting off with the Sun. Okay. And this is the focus of the reading. So the Sun is, um, it could be a joyous union. Maybe a friendship turning to a romance. Um, it could be just completely happy, successful, uh, prosperous, and good health. And that is crossed by the King of Cups. The King of Cups could be a man in touch with his feelings. Uh, or it could be a water sign man or person. General reading. So this could actually be male or female depending on who is watching this. Okay, so a uh, water sign person would be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, so Pisces, this could be you. I want to just add also with the Sun card, lately this has been my, my, my Florida card. My warm and sunny weather card. I've been getting um, a, a lot of readings I've been doing and the Sun card... I'd say it's like 50-50 that I feel somebody's taking a trip to like Florida or the Caribbean or someplace where it's warm and sunny. And the times that I do feel it's uh, someplace warm and sunny, it has been it. So I just want to add that. That's why sometimes I call this my Florida card. <laughs> so you may be going on a trip, Pisces. Okay, because here the basis is the Six of Swords. Okay, I'll put this here. And the Six of Swords is somebody going to a better situation. It could be a trip, and it could be a place around water. So that's why here it's like, oh, okay, you might be going on a trip. You may be going to Florida or the Caribbean or, you know, California's warm and sunny, you know. And what's crossing this possible trip, this journey around water, is you. So you are going on a trip possibly to Florida. Okay. In the recent past, you have the two of cups. So I'm getting the feeling that you have, um, you have, or will have recently broken up with someone. So you may feel like, okay, I need to just get away for a little bit and I'm, I'm just going to take a trip. Okay. Your crowning card is the ace of wands and this is also your thoughts. So your thoughts are you want a new beginning and you want 
a passionate relationship. So it could be that you are thinking of this past relationship you had. Maybe you didn't want the breakup. And so you're thinking of a new beginning with your ex, um, like making amends or reconciliation. You want that passion back in the relationship. It could be that. Or if you know it's completely over with that relationship, well, then you may be thinking, all right, well, when I go on this trip, maybe I can have a new beginning and a passionate relationship with somebody else. These, This is your thoughts. Okay, so it could be for someone new or for the previous relationship that you had. Okay, so in the near future, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, again, Pisces, this could be you. Uh, cups, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, um, I don't know if the person you're involved with is also a water sign. So this, if this is not you, this could be them. This could be them. I do feel this is you going on a trip. Like I said, and then in the near future, if you're involved with the water sign person, if this person in your past was a water sign, this could be them in the near future, or this could just be you focusing on yourself in the near future, okay? Because since this is a past relationship, it could be you just need to take time for yourself, which is why you're going away on this trip, okay? You need to heal. Okay, so your view of the situation is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is somebody maybe feeling a little um, abandoned or disappointed, turned away, moving on, letting go, but it is your choice to do so. Okay, so it could be that the person in the past relationship has viewed this as, okay, it's, it's done, you need to leave move out or we need to break up it's time to move on and let go and it was their choice to do so okay or it could be it was your choice to do so but somebody here obviously was moving on and letting go okay the way you are viewed in this situation or your environment is feeling defensive with the seven of wands so i am getting the vibe that people are viewing you as being defensive and that could be then because you're, you didn't want to end this relationship and it was not your choice to move on and let go. It was the other person's. And that's why you're feeling defensive because you don't want this to end. But I, I'm sorry, Pisces, you have to face facts. If it's over, it's over. Okay. Okay, your hopes and fears. Yeah, I don't think it was your choice to end this it was the other person's because here in your hopes and fears is the six of cups the six of cups is uh, memories of the past uh, it could be past uh, situations resurfacing or it could be an ex coming back so being that this is in your hopes and fears I feel it's your hope that this relationship will be mended you know you may want in your mind that reconciliation here and you're hoping that your ex will come back so you guys can have that passionate new beginning okay and the outcome is the queen of wands okay so the queen of wands is a fire sign person leo aries or sagittarius okay so this being in the outcome let's see we have the queen of cups in the near future which is a water sign which could be you and then the outcome is the Queen of Wands so maybe this trip that you're taking will be with a fire sign person so being that two women came out even though this is a general reading if it's a female uh, that this resonates with it could be like okay you and your girlfriends are going on this trip to let's say Florida or wherever and if it's, you know, a guy that's watching this, like I said, it's not gender specific. It could be you and your guy friends going on a trip to just, you know, you're being supportive and your friend needs to just get away, get their mind off things, let loose for a little bit. So I, I'm getting the vibe. It's you and a friend that are going. You're going to be focusing on you and your friend is going to come and, and be supportive of you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fire sign. 
can also be somebody that is very passionate. Um, let's see. I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Affectionate, uh, passionate, loving, loyal, maybe a little dramatic and impulsive. So maybe that's your friend. Let's see. Let's get some clarification cards on the Queen of Wands. Please. Why is the Queen of Wands here in the near future? Oh, we got two cards here. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Judgment. And one more. That's the Queen of Wands here in the near future. Our answer okay and the king of wands okay so let's see the knight of swords is a swift action can feel a little chaotic strength powerful positive force okay so something powerful and positive force that okay that could be your friend that's trying to show support and be positive and coming with you like last minute. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. Let's go. Then judgment rebirth in your favor. Enlightenment, spiritual awakening. Okay. That makes sense. And then the king of wands, which could also go with the fire signs, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Again, it's not gender specific. And, uh, this could be, I'm sorry. This is the same thing. Somebody passionate. Okay. I see this as your friend. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so where were we? We have the Knight of Swords, which I said is um, somebody coming with like a powerful positive force, which again, that could be your friend that's supporting you going on this trip with you. And then we have Judgment, which is, um, I feel you're going to be enlightened, maybe have a spiritual awakening on this trip with your friends. And then the King of Wands, which is also a fire sign person. Who knows? Maybe on this trip you're going to meet. Now, like I said, this is not gender specific. So maybe on this trip you're going to meet someone that happens to be a fire sign, which is uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And um, you may hit it off. So this trip might be just what you need, Pisces. Okay, let's see. I got these new beautiful cards. Look at this. I love it. Okay, and this is my Archangel Animal deck. So let's see what messages you have in reference to this situation from the Archangel Animals. Please don't mind my dogs running around. It's playtime for them. Okay, you got the swan. Demonstrate grace and majesty. Very nice. Bear, use power with wisdom. That goes with the judgment card for spiritual enlightenment and awakening. Get your wisdom. Get back in touch with your power. And rhinoceros, be strong and courageous. These three actually are perfect for you, Pisces. It makes the perfect sense where you didn't want to be out of this relationship, but you have to be strong and courageous like the rhinoceros. Use power with wisdom. And be the swan. Demonstrate grace and majesty. You know, exit gracefully. Don't, don't do anything less than leaving with your dignity intact. Okay? So that's uh, your reading for this week, Pisces. Namaste. Blessed be. God bless. Peace and love. And I'll see you in the next one.